If you have a 3D printer, you probably are aware of the drill I just showed you in the opening of this video. Some of the filament types don't like to be wet. They hate moisture, you have to keep them safe from moisture, you have to dry them from time to time, and if you do not want to worry yourself with the silica gel, then using just your oven to dry the filament is probably the best option. However, the oven is always a complicated, maybe it's a news, it's a burden, it's a problem, you have to worry. And this is why the company called the Isan, yes, they are making a lot of filaments already and for example I already showed you the lightweight filaments of the Isan already made a box that kinda solve some of the problems like you might have guessed from the opening light, what I have over here is at least a partial solution to the problem of the wet filament. It is the Isan Ebox Lite, which is just a filament storage and a dryer. It's a storage, it's a box. With the top lid you can open, you can take the spool of the filament, take it out, put it in. There is a small slot in which you can... ah move the filament out and they even provide you with the tube that you can connect directly to your printer and in this form it's not really doing very much however there are four buttons in the front and the place when you can connect the power source in the back and when you do it this thing turns into a small heat oven that of course it's not heating up to 200 degrees or something like that but enough to dry the air inside of it to circulate it and to help you to dry the filament because in case of some of the filaments um, wet filament is not a good filament for example the nylon i have over here allow the nylon to catch some moisture and you will hate the experience of the printing with the filament dryer it's getting at least better and finally does it work yes it does it has the internal heater it has the fan and if you turn it on leave it for the few hours it will lower the amount of the moisture inside of the filament unfortunately there are something like a few pr small problems or rather a challenges connected with this device a it's kind of loudish uh, you cannot really keep it in the same room when for example you want to sleep like unfortunately me in this uh, case because the fan inside is kind of noisy and going to sleep with this thing and uh, now really is not the situation so you kind of have to turn it on during the day and turn it off when you want to go to sleep and b i wish it had the built-in hygrometer because right now you just have to trust okay i'm setting this thing to a level two for five hours and i have no idea how much of the moisture was really taken away or how what is the current moisture level inside of the box itself but besides that like i said it's working because right now for example i'm trying to learn myself to print with the nylon filament and nylon absolutely hates the moisture inside i have to keep the roll actually two rolls of the nylon filament as dry as possible so this thing is constantly in the use. The same I applies to the TPU filament because TPU also do not like to be wet. But uh, for the PLA for example no. So can I recommend the Ebox Lite? If you have the filaments that do not like the moisture, do not want to worry yourself about the silica gel or do the Owen treatment definitely this is something that you can take a look at however however if you are using only let like, basic filaments like the PATG or the PLA it doesn't really make much sense because as long as you are not keeping your filament inside of the jungle they will be fine but with the moisture sensitive filaments uh, and you really do not have enough of the place or don't like to worry about drying your filaments. I think this is really the interesting, at least the interesting solution to the problem. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next one. Bye bye.